What's up, guys, and welcome to my messy household. Uh, today, I'm talking about a user-requested video uh, in the middle of me cleaning up. As you can see, I've got a cardboard box with a bunch of cardboard boxes in it, because what happens at our house is that all of the cardboard boxes that we acquire kind of get put into a corner, and then eventually, like once a month, I just kind of take all of them and force them into one other cardboard box. So this box is going to weigh like 10 pounds at the end of today, because uh, it's going to be full of freaking cardboard. Um, but this is one of the places where I get the most use out of my ballast songs, right? Um, and so the topic of the video today is uh, one that I've had requested multiple times, which is uh, how do you carry latchless live blade ballast songs, right, in your pocket? And, you know, I've been carrying latchless knives uh, for a long time, but I think there is a bit of an art to it. And so I want to explain how I do it to y'all so that you can kind of get an idea of my setup and the way that I pull it off without getting injured because I've almost never actually been cut in my pocket by my ballast on. Um, and so I think that's kind of important. So what I want to explain to you is not only how I carry this latchless in my pocket without a risk of getting injured, um, but also what my pocket setup is in the first place, because that kind of uh, is indicative of the knife itself and like how I keep myself from getting cut. So I do this with all of my battle songs, and this is this is the way it works. What I have in my pocket are three other things than my battle song. All right, this is what I keep in my front right pocket at all times. I have my wallet, of course. Um, by the way, if you like this wallet, there's a link in the description. This is like my favorite thing ever. It's on Amazon, it's like 15 bucks. It's freaking awesome, it's a pop-up wallet. So you have like a little center portion that pops up. You pull on this lever and it pops up. And then the actual wallet has a bunch of stuff. So you have space for other cards. I have like a... Um, a little video tripod type thing in there, and then a, uh, a thing right here that's the RFID for our apartment complex. And then also it has a whole bill fold right here so you can keep a bunch of bills. As you can see, I've got it full of receipts. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice little wallet. But I have my wallet in there, and then I also have uh, a couple other things. I have my Edimotic earplugs. Um, and Edimotic is a really nice audio brand. They make a different headphones and stuff like that, but specifically they make these earplugs, and these are essential in my EDC because, um, you know, I do a lot of audio stuff. If you didn't know, I actually work in the film industry as a sound mixer. And so anytime I'm in a loud environment, it's very important for me to protect my hearing. So I often have a pair of earplugs with me everywhere I go. And then the last thing is just some Aquaphor chapstick because everybody needs a little chapstick. But these things I have kind of stacked on the side of my pocket, okay? So inside of my pocket here, obviously, you got your whole space of the pocket. On the inside is where I end up keeping the balisong, and on the outside is where I end up keeping my wallet and these things. So what I do is I stack this stuff. These two kind of like fold into each other nicely, so that's always good. And I put that right down over in the right. Uh, and then I take my wallet, and I put that right there. And I actually used to carry my wallet in my back pocket, but that's actually very unhealthy for you in terms of sitting. It kind of messes with your spine because you're sitting off at an angle and that's that's no good for you. And overall, I just found it's way more comfortable not to have bullshit in my back pocket that I'm sitting on and instead have it in the front pocket. Also, I noticed my shirt became unbuttoned. What, what happened there? What are you doing, buddy? Stop that. All right, so now finally, what happens then is, so I have, the main thing here is my wallet. The other two parts don't really matter too much, but my wallet is what I use to secure the knife inside of my pocket. What I do when I put the knife into my pocket is I put it in like this. So I put the safe side towards the outside, and I make sure to do this every time, because if you mess that up, you know, you're slipping your hand into your pocket. If this is loose, the, the part that you're going to touch is the blade side, and that's no fun. So you want to kind of make sure that the safe side is towards you as you put it into your pocket. So if you got it on the left, you know, you do the same thing. You make sure the safe side is towards the opening of the pocket. So we go here, and I just slip it in all the way to the side, and I use my thumb to kind of push on the safe handle to make sure it goes in flat and then goes as far into the corner as possible. And that kind of holds it nicely in that position. And so it's kind of stuck between my wallet and the side of my pocket. And that's just a very convenient way of holding it. But now the extraction is also important because you can't just stick your hand in there and grab the knife. You know, that's unsafe if the knife, you know, the knife still has space. You can see if I, if I do that, I've just spread the handles out like this, which means the blade is right here. 
Thankfully, the handles do keep tension on the pants. So as you're walking around and stuff, if the handles do spread out like this, generally you don't have to worry about the blade actually touching your pants and like cutting a hole in it because the two handles will keep tension uh, on your pants and so the blade will never really touch them. But what I will do when I reach in is a very simple move. What you want to do is keep your hand, usually I use like my middle finger, you keep your finger against your leg okay not against the top part you keep it against your leg and you kind of want to slip it in there and shimmy it down okay so i'll stick in my hand and i'll keep it pressed against my leg and what that'll do is as i'm going in and you know you have the knife like this in there you're pushing in and you're you press against the handle on the outside what you don't want to do is come in straight down right if you come in straight down what you could end up doing is putting your hand you know, straight in between the two handles, and that's where the blade is, right? So that's that's definitely not a good thing. So you want to go straight in at an angle, right? So you're keeping, you know, I'm, I'm approaching the knife from the side, and so I'm going to come in and approach the knife from the side, making sure I'm pushing it closed. Then I can wrap my hand around it and pull it out, okay? And so that's how you can remain safe while carrying a latchless knife in your pocket. Okay, so once again, make sure the safe side is towards you and then slip it in there and press it all the way so that it, you know, sits against the outside. And then as you're going to grab it, put your hand in, slide it along the side down against your leg until you touch the side of the knife and make sure it's closed. Then you can wrap your hand around it and grab it out. And, you know, the more you do that, you know, as the same with any balisong trick, itself. Um, the more you do that, the more you'll get used to this process and you'll be able to just kind of grab your knife out without really thinking about it. Um, the one time I cut myself doing this was because I put my talisong into my pocket without thinking about it. Um, I literally just dropped it in there and then I went to grab it also without thinking about it and I went from up here, you know, an upward angle and I went straight down to grab it and I ended up um, ending up with my middle finger between the handles and I just sliced it a little bit. It was a very min minor cut because I realized what I was doing like halfway through so I was able to stop myself when I got barely nipped. But that's that's the secret is coming in low at an angle and kind of just pushing it closed as you grab it. Just like that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this one today. Uh, I'm gonna keep cutting up boxes. Um, you know, this is this is where my knives get a nice little workout and so I can you know, chew through a bunch of boxes and put on some music and enjoy myself and, uh, you know, just, just have an excuse to use my knives for like an hour or two. <laughs> That's uh, something outside of flipping. It's weirdly satisfying. You know, it's kind of like a uh, meditation, just sitting here cutting away at boxes and whatnot. Um, ballast songs are really good for people who work at like, uh, I worked at a guitar center relatively early on. And uh, one of the things we do in the back is like opening boxes like this. And my ballast song was fantastic to have for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. As always, I hope you guys have a good time and uh, practice carrying your knives latchless because that is the superior method. Anyways, peace.